live. So, Hazel, here we are at the Museum of Science and Technology, like we've been many times before. Three times? Only three times? I feel like it's more like, more like four. Okay. I feel like I want grandparents on. That could be. Um, <clears throat> other than the crazy kitchen. <laughs> it's an all-time favorite. I mean, <laughs> you can't get much better than the crazy kitchen. You basically can't. No. I mean, I mean it was kind of weird because I was like, oh, whatever. I'm an adult. This would be not interesting at all. Like, I'm fine. Right. I have good balance. And then I got in, and like the feeling from being like when you're when you're like five, <laughs> you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and um, so, so right now, you're studying special relativity in the last two days of school. Yeah. And and what can you tell me that you're interested in about uh, Mr. Einstein's uh, thoughts on uh, is that his PhD thesis or his? I'm not sure. If special relativity came first or general relativity? No. When was when was it really general first? Yeah, yeah. could be. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you like about it? What do I like about Special Einstein's relativity. idea? Special relativity. I like that it's weird. It's having done a lot of studies on quantum mechanics and stuff for other projects during the year. It fits pretty well with just the general understanding that the world is not the way that you think it is. Okay. And the idea that like... I don't know, there's... Wait, does the 360 camera do 360 both ways, or just this way? This way too? It's just around here, so it's like everything, every angle on both sides of this. So it sees the underneath the train, and us, and these people walking over here. But it doesn't see up. Oh yeah, it sees up. It sees up. Yeah, yeah. How does it see up? Does it just big lenses. It's just, it just, it has 180 degrees on either side because of the, um, because of the big lenses it has inside it. So, yeah, it didn't make any sense to me at first, initially, but then it's like, yeah, okay, that makes sure. sense. <laughs> and it'll look like it's, you know, we'll be able to watch this on YouTube, and you'll be able to scroll up and down, and, like, every way. I feel like you can't do that on YouTube. Ah, uh, but you can. You just have to have, have you watching for the right videos. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh... So in terms of, of, uh, of things n not being not as they appear, yeah. Um, what what other kinds of things has have you been exposed to about things not being as they appear, other than sort of quantum thoughts? And other than quantum thoughts. Yes. So like so we're leaving behind like space time as a unified medium sort of thing. Right. We're leaving that. We're not we're not talking about that. We're not talking about things being like super and those kind of ideas, right? Superposition things? Superposition. I don't know what superposition. Superposition is pretty cool. Okay, how does it work cooler? More cooler. Super <laughs> basically, uh, when you have... Um, superposition is when you have a particle that's in multiple states at once. Right. Basically. Being a particle in a wave. Yeah, like that. Uh, so that's, an, that's a superimposed state. Um, or, like if you think about like an electron. Where is it? It's everywhere. Unless you It's everywhere it. and nowhere. Unless yes. you identify it, and then you break the superposition. Yes. So it just it's just the like the wave formula basically that mathematifies that. But that's what superposition is. It's just right. giving a name to the thing you already know about. So yeah. Right. Yeah. And do you see yourself being able to go off into what do you think you could add to to that thinking of of, of science and, and theory and metaphysics and all that sort of stuff? At this point. I'm looking at a lot of different angles, and I don't know, like, what I'm going to be able to end up doing, right? No. It's kind of hard to be like, no. okay, in the future, I'm going to look at particularly this section of optics and be exploring the way that light has been traveling from X, red giant, and, you know, whatever, and exploring the whatever to, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. It all depends what opportunities present themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment... In terms of things that I've found really interesting, that I don't, that I want to look into more, yeah. um, there is some cool stuff on the way that uh, 
computer security works. Yeah. That's been really cool in terms of looking at quantum computers. Because mm-hmm. um, I did that, I did a big project on quantum technology, and so it was looking at especially how quantum computing and uh, quantum cryptography are used and how they can be helpful. What's problematic about them? How they can be broken? How they're breaking other things? Right. And so that was really cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there were some. There were a lot of things about it that I didn't really understand because I don't have a computer science background. So there were a lot of things in terms of the mathematics of how, like, like for example, like for quantum co- uh, computing, you've got, like, oh man, I have to remember what all the words are. <laughs> but you, this isn't an exam, so there's, no, yeah. you know, don't worry about yeah. that. Yeah, but like there's when you have. Um, so you've got the, the qubits, mm-hmm. and they go and they go into. Um, so normally you have a like the the math that you've got. I can't remember the word. It's failing me. But I you've understand. got like a system that it goes through that that it puts the things algorithm? in. Algorithm. Yeah, more. It's not algorithm. That's not the word that I'm looking for. It's more specific than algorithm. Uh, like uh, not key gate. Okay. Logic gates. Right. So, logic gates are, from what I understand, the basis of how computing works, like the circuitry part of it. Right. Uh, and then they've got, but those are those are like one at a time things. Whereas quantum logic gates are able to uh, actually what they're able to do is they're able to stop entropy from incre- from changing. Nothing stops entropy. In the system, in the system. The, the numbers, like, entropy doesn't change within the system right. for the, the computer in the circuit. Right. <clears throat> Meaning that they can go back, they can undo calculations and, re- and like, go back and forth in the numbers Interesting. really smoothly. Okay. Because, um, basically, the idea is, because uh, there's, it's like, reversible computing. I haven't played with reversible computing. Nor have I. I just read about it on Wikipedia, and then I did some other stuff on it. And Poof, there's a report. Honestly, it was pretty wacky. <laughs> the whole computer <laughs> section of it. Because I, I couldn't understand any, like, basically any of the sources that didn't come from Wikipedia. I had no idea what they were saying. Because they weren't written in a plain, in plain language. Yeah, but yeah. Like, like nowhere near plain language. Mm-hmm. Whereas Wikipedia, like, at least you have, like sources that can link you to other things so you understand what the words are after doing a bunch of research and then you can like eventually work back to understand what the sentence means yeah then you move on to the next sentence and there's like a way that you can do it i think wikipedia is pretty good for getting a basic understanding of how a lot of things in like math and physics work for sure because like you know the kinds of people who are gonna go edit wikipedia pages are the kind of geeks who are gonna be good at math and physics so we're gonna care about the details yeah we're going to go off on 